Greetings friend. In this tutorial, I will teach you everything you need to know about Sudoku Unique Rectangles Type 3. A unique rectangle is a Sudoku strategy involving four cells in two blocks, like that, where you can avoid a deadly pattern. A unique rectangle only applies to puzzles with one unique solution. So every puzzle I feature on Smart Hobbies has been checked twice for one unique solution. So subscribe if you like to solve puzzles with unique solutions. The time to look for unique rectangles is after exhausting all easy and medium level strategies. In this, our first example, this is as far as you can solve without finding and using a unique rectangle type three. So an easy way to spot unique rectangle type three, just like a one, two, or even a four, is to look for a naked pair that is locked, which means it's in the same block in either the same row or column. And so, example, you have a naked pair here in block one of a five, seven, but it's not in the same column or the same row. So you cannot use this to find a unique rectangle. You come down here and this meets the criteria of finding a locked pair. It's in the same row and in the same block. But then you need to find two other cells that share these bi-value candidates and have some extra candidates with it. If you come up here, you'll notice that this cell has a three and a five, but it doesn't have a corresponding cell in the same row and column as this cell. And the same as this has a three and a five, but there is not ability to put a can here. So this is not going to work for finding your unique rectangle type three. Now, if you'd stay in this block and you look at this one six, you notice it is by by cell. It's a locked pair. And then scan up the column and you'll see right here, you have two cells in the same columns. They're in the same block in the same row. They both have a one six in there, but they have additional candidates. In this case, a three and a nine in this cell and a three here. When you see this situation, you have found a unique rectangle type three. And the way you know it is a unique rectangle type three is actually scan now in the block and in the row. You're looking for another cell that contains a three nine. And there's one right there. So what you notice is the two additional candidates are a three nine, right? Two different candidates. Here's a three nine cell right there. The way the unique rectangle type three works is that this acts as a virtual cell. And the way to understand how best to solve this is to go, what happens if you didn't have a three or nine in either one of these cells? So if you just had a one six in all four of these cells, you would notice that you could put ones in these cells and sixes in these cells. And those values would be interchangeable. You could put a six here, one there, and you wouldn't affect the solve the puzzle. Since you know the puzzle has a unique solution, this can't happen. This is a deadly pattern. This is a deadly trap. In order to avoid that, you know that one of these cells has to contain either a three or a nine. If you put one of those in there, you'll break the deadly pattern and give one unique solution. Since you have another cell in the row that has a three nine, what you know then is that one of the three nine cell candidates has to be here. The other one has to be in there. This acts as a virtual cell. You know either a three or nine is here and a three nine is there. This is the most basic type of unique rectangle type three that you will find. In my next example, I will help you work through an example where there are more than two additional candidates, a little bit more complicated. And so I showed you how to find this. Now, how do you make eliminations? Well, you're going to go and you're going to remove a three and nine from any cell in the same house as these three cells. In this case, this is row six. Because you know one of the three nine has to be here, one of the three nine has to be here to avoid the deadly pattern. You can eliminate a three or nine from any other cell in the row. You can remove a three from there and you can remove a nine from here and a nine from here. And once you do that, 
you'll notice now there's only one place to put a 9 in block 6. So you can solve this for a 9, you can solve this for a 5, and you'll notice that you'll be able to make many more solves in this puzzle and solve it completely. So let's look at the next example and see if you can find unique rectangle type 3. Okay, this is example 2, and you're at the point where you need to look for unique re rectangle type 3. And so like I said, the first thing you want to do is look for pairs, a uh, locked pair. So like for example, this 1, 7, even though it's in the same column, they're in two different blocks. So that's not a locked pair. You cannot use that for unique rectangles. You can look at this 3, 4 right here, and what you might notice is you have a 2, 4, 7 here. Since it's missing a 3, you cannot use those cells. 3, 8, 9 here. It has a 3, but it doesn't have a 4, so you cannot use those cells either. And no other cells in the block will work for unique rectangle situation. So keep scanning around, and maybe you notice here yet you have a 3, 5. So look across now the rows and see if there's two more cells in the same column, in the same block, that have a 3, 5 plus additional candidates. Right here, th these do not have fives. But if you look right here, this messy, these two messy cells, they have a 3, 5, but they also have a bunch of additional candidates. In this case, a 4, 6, and 7. And so now to validate if this is a unique rectangle, a UR type 3, you need to look in the column and see are there other cells you can use to create your virtual cell. Since there are three additional candidates, 4, 6, and 7, one of those values will be here. You need to find two additional cells that contain just 4, 6, or 7. So do you see any in column 2? Here's one probably easy to spot and then if you look right here here's another one right this just has a four six or seven in case this case a four seven this just has four six seven available so what you know is you have found a unique rectangle type three here in column two because one of the values of four six seven has to be here to avoid that deadly pattern the deadly trap one has to be here and one has to be here. It creates a virtual triple of four, six, seven. So now you know you can eliminate four, six, seven from any other cell in that house, which is row two. If the four, seven was in the block, you can eliminate within the block. But it's in the column, you're gonna eliminate in the column. So you know four, seven cannot be in either of those two cells. And so now you can solve this for a 9. Once you solve that for a 9, you can solve this for a 3. Solve that for a 9, and you'll be able to solve the rest of this puzzle. This is just one of the seven most common types of unique rectangles. Learn more about all seven types in this next tutorial. Thank you so much for watching.